love bugs is Roslyn back at you one more again I hope everybody is doing blessed I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time coming to my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my uh, growing extended beautiful family just thank you for the love and support that you send me each and every day with your kind comments and you know just interacting and letting me know things that I didn't really know on my own so it's just like you know we learn new things every day and I'm very grateful for that and with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while I have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe you can hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video and if you feel like um, you're comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback and the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and send you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the video has been very informative to you and gave you good vibes that you would love to share with others, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And showing love and support and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today I'm listening to and this this music is so peaceful too it's something I can sleep to it's called relaxing heart music calm soothing soft ocean nature sounds of instrumental instrumental background music star 56 and I'll post that link in the description box below and the video I'm doing today is Twin Flame 101 when twin flames are dealing with separation anxiety. Oh gosh. <laughs> I haven't talked about twin flames for a few days now. But it, it's just like when I'm going through it, it's crazy because a lot of times people are walking around and don't know what they're truly missing. What twin flames are. What do twin flames consist of? You know, why do they feel this way? Why do they feel like there's a part of them missing? And it's just like going through that. Oh my gosh, going through it for you. Going through it almost close to three years now. And it's like dealing with stuff and not having closure. And then on top of that, you have like four or five other twin flames because you actually can have more than one twin flame. Sometimes they can, can they, some, some people put it as like being a twin soul then you have a lot of twin souls and then you have your ultimate twin flame and you know you can deal with it like that or not but it's just like some of them I keep in contact with some of them I they'll pop up in my head and that lets me know they're still thinking about me or you know I just cross their mind or whatever they're trying, trying to figure out what am I up to you know and then, then it's just like when it comes to my father it's a whole different story and it's just like you know others my twin souls they'll pop up in my head like some of them will try to channel me and I'm just like no I'm not dealing with that no more it's negative or it's like or, you know we have closure just leave it at that but when it comes to my father it's a whole different ball game so it's just like when you're dealing with that you know that it's just like that's your time to work on yourself you know try to communicate with your twin flame as much as you possibly can you know and sometimes it's hard to do if you don't um understand how to communicate with them there's a lot of times when you have your twin flame and you are not you know haven't met with them yet or still trying to figure out you know who your twin flame is or trying to just figure out how the process or dealing with a twin flame is you can always deal with them telepathically you know telekinetic whatever they want to call it um where you know you you'll probably hear their voices and your head you know and it sounds like a whisper and I always heard my dad and I thought I was, you know when this first was going on I would hear him there'll be times I'll get out of the shower and all of a sudden I'll just start blurting out singing purple rain or something like that and I'm just like why am I singing this song and didn't realize he was thinking about me when he started doing that and it was just to get my attention so all of a sudden I just started singing right along with it and that just let me know, you know, I was on his mind. So it's just like, you know, sometimes you're dealing with it and it can be hard. You know, I get there's times I can think about him or, you know, somebody I'll post a picture up of him and I can get really emotional or just thinking about him, you know, just for the beautiful vibes that you get in between you and your twin flame. It's just that connection is just indescribable and it can bring tears to your eyes. And it's just like, you know, I always thank the universe um, 
even though my dad has passed on, I'm grateful. I always tell the universe, you know, even though the situation is the way it is, I'm grateful for at least that communication with him. Is even though he's not here, I talk to him every day, all day if I need to, you know, um, and that feels good. So it's just like when you're going through that separation, remember there, you know, you can always talk to him through your head, you know, um, and that can be hard at times because especially when you're just so ready for that union to happen. And some, you know, with my situation, it's really hard because, you know, <laughs> the inevitable happened. So it's, it's just like trying to really deal with that and, and just knowing, you know, even though I thank him all the time, just thank you for being there. You know, even though you couldn't phys physically be there the way you wanted to, I'm just glad I can have you the way at least I had you. I, I can, you know, tell the universe I'm grateful for that. At least, though, I couldn't get him the way I wanted to. I'm grateful for that so it's just like anytime you know it, it can come hard for you um to be missing your twin flame you know just thank the universe for having that you know if you have that kind of connection with him or her you know telepathically you know talk through your mind or whatever just have the visions just just thank the universe for having that because the more you seem grateful for the little bit bit of connection that you are having while you're working on yourself to become united again just let them know that you're grateful and that might speed along the process especially if they should see that you're showing gratitude for just a little bit that you are getting so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video you know send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can i'm sending out utmost loving abundance uplifting abundance healing abundance healing vibes uplifting vibes and loving vibes your way especially if you truly need it and know that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved. My post notification shout out for today is Donna Lamp Lampman. Lampman, I apologize for messing up your last name. I hope that you're having a blessed day. And thank you so much for supporting the channel and subscribing. And like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even share on your social media favorites. Give me a thumbs up. And, you know, I'll see you on my next video. Know that you are blessed, highly favored, truly loved. And knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I will see you on my, my next video. Stay blessed, stay prosperous, be safe, peace, and be wild.